Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I'm going to show you a Excel document that you're going to be able to download uh, that's going to save you a lot of time. So when you are in the field and you have a file that has all different uh, pitch, you know, when you're doing your estimate, you're going to have to separate the pitches from 0 to 6 which on you know you don't have to do anything extra on those but anything between 7 and 9 anything between 7 and 12 and anything uh, after 12 pitch is gonna have to be estimated uh, accordingly so let me show you once you ex once you export this uh, annotations to an Excel file it's only gonna take you one click to separate this stuff and if you don't do it this way, man, it's a pain in the you know what. Okay, so let me show you what you have to do. Okay, so you're in exact uh, exactimate. I don't care what if it's uh, X1, 28, e e you know, any one of those two. If you right click here, anywhere in this canvas, right? If you right click and you export roof to annotations for Excel. Uh, I'm going to save it as that file and I'm going to hit save and it says it, it already exists so I'm going to hit yes so I'm replacing it now so watch this uh, I'm going to go to that file which is right here and this is what the file would look like now you're going to have to separate this watch how easy it is you see this little icon right here you're going to you're going to have this icon before this is said and done all you're going to do is a click and look what it did pitch 7 to 9 is 17.23 uh pitch 10 to 12 is 11.02 um squares and anything above 12 pitch is 9.52 so now all you would have to do is you would click here you would hit uh, control C you know you go to your exactimate and it open up in another uh, monitor so then you would go to estimates right you would click on the roof itself here you would type RFG and this is STEEP just that uh, no greater than because this is from 7 to 9 right and all you have to do is hit control V hit alt tab then you'd copy anything from 10 to 12 you hit control C alt tab then you know um, or oh, I didn't hit okay here but then you would type RFG STEEP greater than that's gonna give you 10 to 12 you're gonna click here hit control V and you hit okay then the last one you would have to do is anything above 12 control C alt tab and then you would put S T E E. Oops, you gotta learn how to type first. Okay, S T uh, R F G S T E E P greater than greater than. Okay, and then you would hit Control V, and you hit OK, and that separates everything for you. This literally, you can do it in less than thirty seconds. I'm talking. That's why it, it takes that long. Now, uh, if there was nothing here that had between seven and nine pitch this would turn into a zero okay so if you see a zero you know you don't have to do nothing with it or or let's say this one had a zero then the only thing you would have to do is your seven to nine pitch and your ten to twelve pitch okay so now let me show you how to do this okay so this is the important part okay uh, so <clears throat> in the bottom of this YouTube you're gonna see um, a link okay and what that link is gonna do so here let me go in here um, so it'll be the same link right here you see this link so you can you would copy and paste that link or uh, in you know, I, I don't know how it's going to look in in, uh, in YouTube, but either you would copy and paste it, 
So let's do a copy and paste because hopefully you can just, just click on it and it's going to bring this dialog box. Okay. Now this is to my uh, <clears throat> Dropbox. So I've copied this stuff for y'all. So anybody can get to this, right? Then all you would have to do is hit download. You'll see this dialog box. Once you can see open file, then what you would do is you click on that and it's going to launch this uh, compressed file, right? So what you want, want to do is grab these files and uh, copy them to the desktop. Let me see. It's not, it's not going to let me because I already have uh, one of these files. It'll let me do this one because I don't have that one open in my... Uh, nope. Uh, replace. Yeah, so I'm just going to replace it. Okay, so it, it let me do that one because it's not actually uh, open. This other one is open because this is how I'm giving you the instructions. But all you would have to do is move it. Now, what you want to do is put this somewhere. Don't put it in your desktop. All this stuff that you see here, I'm going to delete after I'm done with this video. This is a bunch of stuff that I was doing just to create this video. Once I create this video, I never keep nothing on my, uh, uh, on my desktop. Okay, and that's just so that I can teach you all how to do this. Okay, so now, now you have these files, right? So let me open up this um, PDF. So this PDF is going to give you the same instructions that I'm telling you right now. Okay. Uh, it has this file. It tells you first you must have the developer button uh, pulled down, loaded in your Excel. So, you know, I'm going to open up my Excel file. Uh, do I have it open? I uh, don't have it open, but here. So let me open it up. So this is the file that I'm talking about. You, uh, oh, well, it had it was already open, so it didn't let you. It's just saying I had it open, so it's no big deal. Okay, so now if you go into this PDF, it tells you make sure that it's there. This developer. So if you hit tab, you see mine's there, right? More than likely, this is what yours would look like. So I'm going to go to my option. I'm going to uh, uh, go to my uh, custom ribbon and I am going to remove it just so I can show you what your yours is more than likely going to look like this unless if you're like us advanced people that do all, all kinds of stuff with Excel then yours would have it so if you're new and you don't know Excel more than likely your Excel is going to look like this so now you would go to file you would go to options you would go to custom ribbon and you go right in here where it says developer. See, right now, it's not up here. You see, it should be somewhere in here. Okay. Now, if I click developer and as soon as I hit OK, it showed up right there. You have to have that in order for you to use macros. Without that, you're not going to see this pull downs right here. Okay. So now that you've done that, the next thing you have to do so that you don't have to do this every time, you see this little icon? This is that one button that I was telling you about. So I'm going to remove it to show you how to put it in there, okay? So you won't go through this unless, um, so right now I'm going to go option. Um, this time I'm going to use quick access toolbar. And you see this pitch uh, macro? I'm going to remove it, okay? And then now, now you see, oh, it didn't remove it. Oh, here, here, uh, end, okay. So, okay, I must have not hit okay or something. So option, um, quick, pitch, oh, I hit at remove, okay, and hit okay. Now you see it's not here. What you want to do is go file, option, you're going to go to quick access tool. Um, you're going to go right here and you're going to hit macros. You're going to see those because I'm giving you this file. If I wouldn't have gave you this file, you wouldn't have this. Okay, so you're going to select a pitch. 
you're going to hit add while you have this selected you're going to modify and I you can pick anything you want right the one I picked was this little house because it kind of reminds me of a little roof I couldn't find anything else that was suitable uh, like I said if you want to use in you can put a happy smile if you want it's up to you I picked this one and you hit OK and then when I hit OK now now it showed up now guys after this every time you you have an Excel file and uh, you know uh, one of those that you export out of uh, Xactimate you open it up all you have to do is hit that button that's how simple this is man this used to take me a bunch of time and uh, you know once you get into your second and third year you're gonna start getting some big old claims you know like the ones that are like 80 90 thousand hundred thousand you know you're gonna be doing hurricanes and this right here is gonna save you a lot of time so that's basically all and uh, one thing I want to uh, stress uh, stress out is uh, and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel because you can miss out on a lot of valuable uh, tricks as far as I know I'm the only one that's ever posted anything like this on this kind you know I, I know I'm not the only one that knows how to do this I'm not saying that I'm just saying uh, I, I designed this for us and uh, after today you'll probably see this posted all over the place because once you know that's once you see something posted then people share it but uh, for right now if you do a search for it, you're not gonna see this after this day you'll see this because people are gonna post this stuff and I want people to share it I'm doing this for y'all I'm not I don't want you know I I don't want you not to share I want you to share with your friends I don't care if it's your friend your mother your brother your sister anybody if you can save them time that's all that's all uh, that's what it's all about man help each other okay well thank you for watching my video I hope you like this guys thanks